Danganronpa is dead. Thank God, I never want to play those stupid effing games ever again just to pay rent. I don't want to deal with those stupid characters, that stupid bear, those stupid class trials, and that stupid chapter three. Why are they always the worst? God! Danganronpa is truly gone and buried. Or at least I thought that was the case. Turns out, that stupid bear just cannot die, and a new Danganronpa game is coming soon, whether you like it or not. Danganronpa Ultimate Summer Camp releases in just four days. This is technically eight, whoops. And I am ecstatic. I just cannot wait to revisit Jabberwock Island with my favorite characters, like Hifumi and the maid girl i think her name is tootsie roll or something and the pervert and the pervert and the pervert i just love danganronpa okay i gotta drop the act i legitimately do love danganronpa i feel like i'm not alone in that i love these games, okay? When I was first getting into the scene, right, I came into the game a little late. Danganronpa V3 just came out, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna play the first game. And now, there's been a drought of Danganronpa games. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I guess I'm a little late to the party, but I'm obsessed, dude. I bought the fanzines. Is it zines or zines? I don't, I, I, I got the freaking anime I'm never gonna watch. I'm so obsessed with Danganronpa. I got a framed picture of my wife, okay? We have a child together. He's hideous. I don't know whose fault that is. In case you ain't getting it. I'm a big Danganronpa fan. I would say I love the games to death. So much so, when they said, hey, a new Danganronpa game's coming out, I was elated. I was so pumped. And, well, it's a fan service game where they're all at the beach. No investigations, that's fine, that's fine. It also has most of the gameplay just being reused from Danganronpa V3's bonus mode. That's okay. I mean, it's not awful, but... Oh, it also has microtransactions. That's never a good sign. Also, the original creator, Kazutaka Kodaka, isn't credited. That's worrying. Um. Also, the swimsuits on the box just aren't in the game. What's up with that, man? Okay, I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. I'm just being realistic about it. But what can I say? I'm obsessed with Danganronpa. I was really looking forward to this game. And, uh, yeah, I kind of want to play it on the channel. I just legitimately don't know if people want to see Danganronpa videos from me. It's been like ages it feels like since v3 concluded so uh yeah let me know what were, what were you what was the whole point of this video again oh yeah i forgot new video game new danganronpa kinda you'll see last night we got some bonanas news and i just don't see enough people talking about this thing man so the original creator of danganronpa kodaka he's been hard at work on well a lot of stuff with varying levels of quality after completing Danganronpa V3, he left Chunsoft to form his own video game company, Tukio Games, along with Zero Escape's creator, Kotaro Ushikoshi. And those two wacky gamers have been doing all kinds of stuff. They've been making a mobile game, which is called Tribe 9, which looks pretty promising. They've even released an anime that apparently is super cool, called Akudama Drive. But also, a new Danganronpa-inspired game. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Joint developed by Chunsoft and Tukio Games, we have Enigma Archives Rain Code. And this trailer slaps! God, I love it! It's I'm just so surprised. How are people not going nuts about this thing? This guy says it looks like crap! Do you have eyeballs, sir? It doesn't appear you do. And really, the Dream Team's all here. If there was ever going to be a spiritual successor to Danganronpa, I'd hope it'd be made by these people, because you have the original scenario writer, Kodaka. I just cannot stop showing this JPEG. I love it. You have the Danganronpa artist creating the characters, and you have the original composer. I love 
Danganronpa music. You're hearing his other arrangements now. They're great, by the way. It's not up for debate. There won't be a class trial on this. <laughs> and my god, if anybody was going to make a spiritual successor to Danganronpa, I'm just glad it's these people. Because really, they got the gang back together. The band is back, yo. And really, if this ain't a spiritual successor, I don't know what is. It literally is a ghost game. And you know I love those. Junsoft is calling Enigma Archives a dark fantasy mystery. Oh, that's cool. And it looks just so incredible. I've watched this trailer probably a thousand times, and I just want to get my ideas on this game out there and just sort of signal boost this trailer a bit. Now, it's true we don't have any concrete release dates or anything, and really this teaser is very bare bones. There's not a lot to gather from it, but I just... Let's just talk about it, dude. Get the conversation going. Apparently, this game has been in development since Danganronpa V3 wrapped up when that was like five years ago, I think. Jeez. It's also being made in Unreal Engine, and it shows, man. The visuals in this trailer, my gosh. I, <laughs> I hope the actual game looks this good. I imagine so, because the anime art style, which sort of looks like uh, Ultra Despair Girls, in a sense, like seeing the Danganronpa characters translated into 3D uh, like that, it's just so, oh my god. Ah, it's beautiful. From what I can gather from the trailer, right, this does appear to be a companion mystery detective adventure game, and that kind of reminds me a lot of I, The Somnium Files, a game I really like. Sequel's out next year, by the way. Check it out. But while Somnium Files was a game with a large focus on the first-person view, Rain Code looks like it is a full 3D world and just traveling with our ghost companions solving murder mysteries. Ugh, that's like... That's like the perfect game to me, dude. This has so much potential. I think that's the key word here, potential. We're no longer on PSP hardware, baby. It's a 3D world. Holy crap. As for our protagonist in Rain Code, it is this kid who might be high school. It's a little difficult to tell because yeah, for whatever reason, Kodaka loves making, you know, mi miniature heroes. Not your typical dude. He ain't playing for the NBA. That's what I'm getting at. But I still like him. He's really neat. He has the signature Ahoge. I think is how you say it. I keep getting that mixed up with the with the nasty one. Japanese is a crazy language. <laughs> However, his Ahoge is a little bit different. It's actually in the shape of a question mark. How inquisitive. Because I'm pretty sure Japan doesn't have question marks. <laughs> As for this story's heroine, though, it appears that we will be accompanied by the apex goth girl. She's the highest of the high. No, literally, she's tall. She's well endowed. She has pink hair, demon horns, and a crown. Oh, yeah, and a giant death scythe. That's just... This game's going to sell great. Like, how can, you, how can you not see people cosplaying this character? It's going to happen. It's inevitable. Yeah, she's pretty or whatever, but can she be a marketable mascot character? You tell me. <laughs> Boom, baby. Yeah, we have good reason to believe our ghost companion is actually this girl because, well, they have the same crown and they have the horns. I really like this character. She looks a lot like um, Abu from Mario, and y'all know I love me some Mario, but legitimately, she just has like a cool design and uh seeing this like relationship between our main character and the uh heroine ghost it has the potential for a lot of banter i think we could all agree so yeah i'm impressed with not just the character design but the game as a whole looks so beautiful really i gotta talk about this trailer a little bit right you get these shots of this mystery labyrinth, and I'm just thinking, like, what on earth is this? It feels like a Danganronpa execution, but that's the whole level? If they can pull that off, my god, we just, we're in for a treat. I'm a big fan of, uh, dare I say, psychedelic imagery in my video games, and this seems like a perfect type of game to explore that type of graphic style. When I first played Danganronpa, the visuals and art direction really jumped out to me. I think it's this sort of, like, punk 
pop aesthetic with, you know, the pink blood, which also is coming back, so it might be a Danganronpa, like, in-universe game. I don't know. And just, gosh, I really like this shot of the skulls and the elephants. That's what I'm getting at here, but but could lead to some really interesting levels. I like to think uh, Psychonauts did something really cool back in, like, the PS2. And if they did something similar to that, you know, just exploring these weird uh, labyrinths and gaining clues and stuff to solve the mystery, I think that has potential i said it again but uh what do you guys think i just man the music in this trailer is also so cool i just <laughs> i just and i really like the ghost character maybe it's because i played so much yokai watch and you know with nate and whisper and now we have this guy and his sexy whisper i don't know that's an odd image let's move on uh there were a couple like tiny little easter eggs i thought i'd mention in this trailer i found there's these uh teru teru bozu dolls which uh i believe they were like supposed to be monks you like tie them up and it's like oh rain rain go away so like rain's gonna be a big deal in this game most likely but the word rain code really makes me think about the matrix you know you've probably seen it all like the green like code falling down you know like rain uh is this like a digital world or something it very well could be this city that like shows like itself in the trailer it looks very real but then why is there a ghost girl? Like, it's it's just, ugh, yes, it, again, it's a mystery game. Obviously, we're not going to figure out everything at the start, but I'm just, I'm so excited. I've been thinking about this game, like, all day and all day yesterday. I'm just so pumped. But, uh, yeah, are you interested in Enigma Archive Raincode? It is a mouthful. Just like Danganronpa. That is, I guess, one criticism I have. But then again, how many stories are called The Ghost Detective? At least it's original and memorable but uh yes i'm really just pumped for this game i will try to update you guys if like you're like dude this game looks sick are you gonna play it? like dude i want duh like <laughs> i'm just so pumped and uh yeah it appears tukio games and uh you know uchikoshi and kodaka they just got a bunch of stuff coming our way it is true not everything they've been releasing has been bangers i uh i didn't play it but world's end club apparently was kind of a you know they tried but uh this looks a plus. That's all I gotta say. But thank you all for bearing with me. I just uh, had to go on my mini uh, Danganronpa, uh, I guess, rant. Uh, Danganronpa S is coming out. I may play it. Just let me know once again if you want to see that. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Decided to do something a little bit different today. And uh, see you tomorrow with another video. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Why does this smell weird?